This is the Video Gadgets Journal connecting you with your technology and this is the HTC Google Nexus 9. It comes with Android Lollipop version 5, the latest operating system, but does that mean it comes with some unintended consequences? So what do I mean by the power of unintended consequences? Well here I have the Google Nexus 9 in front of me on the About tablet page which gives me information about the device and the important one we are looking at here is the Android version number which is number 5. Now this has been released with version number 5 which is called Android Lollipop, brand new version and it's coincided with the release of this new product. So everything preceding it was a previous version and that was uh, the most recent one, 4.4, which was Android KitKat. So Google have made quite a significant jump in terms of their parent software, the software that runs the device. Now this means that it can have unintended consequences on applications that are run off the Android operating system. So everything you download off the Google Play Market Store uh, is an application that runs through the Android software. So, for example, if I go to the BBC News website, that's working absolutely fine, no problems there. However, there is some media here that I want to watch, a video. So if I press play, it's going to give me a number of options on which media player I can use. So I already have some pre-installed uh, from previous versions of Android, uh, which you can see here, which are something called OpenMX, ES, Player, Bubble, UP, MP, and so on. So I'm going to use the media player that I use most often and I'm most comfortable with, and that's MX Player. And this is where we hit the problem. It's an unsupported Android version. MX Player, or the developers of this program, have not caught up with the Android version that's running on this system which essentially means that I can't use the application I want to on this device. If I go to the market store, which is the MX player, uh, it is most, the most up-to-date version because it's asking me to open the application rather than update it. Um, but if I try and open it, I'm just going to get the same problem, which is an uninsupported error. So that's something to consider for existing users of Google devices if you are going to upgrade to Android Lollipop or get a Nexus 6 or a Nexus 9 which comes pre-installed with Lollipop. Some programs may no longer work and you'll have to find alternatives or wait for the developer to catch up. Now, just to show in this particular example, I do have other methods of playing the um, media. We go back to the BBC website, try and play the media and use uh, the ES media player. Uh, that should play the video fine. So it's just a case of whether the developer has anticipated that Android Lollipop 5 could cause problems for their particular application. Thanks for watching that. If you've had any uh, issues with your own applications not working, maybe start a list in this video and we can help others and support the uh, Android community to find out what applications need upgrading, especially the most popular ones such as MX Media Player. See you again soon in another Video Gadgets Journal. Thank you very much for watching this VGJ Felix video. I hope it intrigued, informed and entertained you. If it did, I would really appreciate you clicking that thumbs up button at the bottom of the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so.